ago, a young pug named Bella had extensive surgery to realign a severely malformed leg. She's been rushed back in after showing signs of distress and has been anaesthetised while Rob investigates. OK, so we've had a bit of a problem over the weekend because um, Bella has uh, been uh, brought back in as an emergency with um, suddenly in a lot of pain. Uh, with no real reason for it, so uh, looks like um, you might have had a fracture through one of the screw holes. X-rays reveal the cause of Bella's pain. What's happened is her, uh, her, her humerus, her upper arm, is fractured through that with the, along the line of that screw, um, which is why she's in so much pain. Fixing the fracture might not be possible and Rob faces a tough decision. There's no way that this can be just left. Um, we have two choices here. One, we need to either you know, fix the fracture or, or we need to consider amputating the leg. In trusting Rob with Bella's care, owner Cathy Finnegan. Cathy faced an uphill battle to get treatment for Bella's problem. Rob is offering her a chance where other vets have felt unable to help. They kind of did think that maybe with all the money it would cost to fix her and all the problems she's going to have, it may be kinder to say goodnight now. And I kind of like was holding her and I kind of like pulled away as if to say, don't take her away from me. She's, um, and I said, no, not an option, not an option. You can't help but love her because she's just got the biggest personality. A tail goes when people pick her up. She's just really, really, really lovely. So coming here, yes, is the last chance for us to make sure that we've done everything we could to make sure that we've given her every opportunity to be able to be right. For Bella, um, and you know, with, a, with the dedicated owner that she has, I think, you know, although it is a bit risky, um, I think it's worth going that extra mile with her just to see if we can achieve uh, uh, a salvage of the leg.